Cycle friends! Chris here and I just want to share with you a little trick that you can use to tessellate your paintings. So let's say you had this painting here by, or this drawing by MC Escher. And you wanted to, uh, you know, rep reproduce these guys. Uh, well, there's a couple ways you can do this. One way is you could just pro up and paint them all freehand. So, alright, let's, let's, uh, let's start with this guy in the middle. Yep. Yeah, all right. That's pretty good. But this is going to take forever. And I'm far too lazy to actually do that. So maybe I could use the record tool. All right, turn it on. And we're going to start with this guy over here. Yeah, all right. We'll make him a little cooler than the other guy. Alright, so now let's stop the recording, open up the grid, count some squares, make a little mark. Alright, we'll let her go. Actually, you know what? This is far too much work as well, and it's not even going to line up. So, <laughs> I just like how it reacts when you interrupt the playback like that. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so yeah, those aren't gonna work, but I've got a really good feeling about this last one. Alright, so let's have a look at my presets. Yeah, I'd say this Escher preset should do nicely. Now, for any that don't know, some of us psychos have enough coins that we're able to unlock everything, and we can uh, save our own presets. But that's not to say there's really anything all that special about them. Well, unless you're lazy like me. <laughs> See, the presets are just shortcuts for the various detail settings that you can see below. Yeah, I mean, you could start with a Van Gogh brush and change its sliders to turn it into a Monet brush or a Surat or an Escher brush. So really, all you're going to need to do is change your details to match what you see here. Now, be sure you change the shape to this big square and move the bristle spread all the way to the right. Those are important. Personally, I like to have a little thickness on the dots, so I've left these two at five, and I'll come back to the density later. Of course, you're totally free to play with these settings and make them your own. So, all right, now it's time for the fun part. As you can see, this brush makes it very easy to replicate small designs. And if we just up the size of the brush, it will actually cover the whole canvas. So let's just draw some lines. And now you get to decide what it looks like. I'm guessing you think it looks kind of like a leaf maybe? But I'm going to say it looks like a duck. Add some color. And voila! We've got a very simple tessellation. But maybe you want to do four subjects, like, uh, like Escher did. Well, that's easy enough. Just add some more lines. Color it in, and, uh, well, <laughs> uh, well, let's, uh, let's talk about the density. So, you see how far apart the dots are here? Well, if you bring the density down, they'll get farther apart, and that's going to give you more room for your design. But there's also fewer dots, so it may not cover the page entirely. Now if that happens, uh, just try it again from the middle of the canvas, or just trace one of your previously drawn lines and that'll fill in the empty space for you. Alright, one last thing I want to point out is how not all of these density values will match up with the brush, like these have. You see how none of these lines are actually touching the brush? 
Well, maybe you're okay with that, but for me, it's kind of weird, so... I tend to stick with the following density values. There's gonna be six of them. Are like 4, 16, 64, 100, 144, and 196. Now, for some reason, they don't line up. Just uh, try changing it to a different number, then double click the box, type in the number you actually want, and press enter. And if you play around with it enough, uh, eventually it'll refresh itself and fix the problem for you. So anyway, those are the numbers I like to use. And as you can see, lowering the density will allow you to paint subsets of your tessellation. Kind of like I've done here with these green sloth monkeys. Well, that's all I've got for you now. But if you have any questions about the program or whatever, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer them for you. So thanks for watching, and I hope it's been informative. Oh, and the rest of this video is just another example from start to finish. Enjoy!